Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of the Sidetrack Parent. My name is Christy Vacchio and today we are going to be talking about Thanksgiving and how to involve your special needs child in your Thanksgiving preparation and even in your holiday preparation and meals um, around this time of year. So in the past, we have tried to involve both of our children in all of our preparation for Thanksgiving, but it usually comes down to making one child busy with something and allowing the other child to help around the kitchen. And that usually ends up being Katie. So when it comes to cooking the Thanksgiving meals, you'll see in these videos that we have involved Katie with our Thanksgiving preparation. She has always enjoyed getting up on the chair and helping us and um, getting her hands dirty and getting her hands in all of the food and really helping us with the meal preparation. So she is the star of the show in a lot of these videos that you will see. Um, although Andy is involved in behind the scenes um, in some of these videos, but um, Katie is the star of several of these videos. So in this first video, you will see Katie is helping dad with making his famous mashed potatoes for Christmas time, but we do this at Thanksgiving as well. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me help you. Yeah. Oh, look. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't do that. Dickie, don't put your mouth. Good trying. Can we help you? Can we help you? In this next video, you'll see Katie helping us get the house clean for Thanksgiving. Um, there are several videos where Katie is cleaning. She loves to imitate Dan, who is the cleaner of the house, even though I am the one who sells the cleaning products on the side. But uh, Katie likes to clean. She likes to vacuum. She likes to wipe things up. So in this video, she is helping us clean up for Thanksgiving because we had friends coming over this time. What you doing, Katie? What are you doing? What you doing, Katie? You're doing what? You're cleaning. Are you cleaning the table? Are you helping? Just like your father. Are you cleaning the table? Are you helping clean for Thanksgiving? In these next two videos, Dan and Katie are getting the bird prepped for going into the oven. In the first video, Dan is pulling out all of the parts inside the turkey and he's trying to figure out what the parts are and actually go through and teach her the parts. I thought this was a really cute video to show you how you can go through and kind of involve a little bit of education with the with your child at the same time. And then in the second video, he just goes crazy and um, makes it really fun for her and uh, just makes it fun and um, is laughing with her and um, just going all crazy and, and um, making her laugh and um, yeah. What is that? Is that a kidney or a lung? I don't know what that is. Know. That might be the heart, I think. No, that's too small. Is it? Here is his... Lungs? Yeah. Lungs. 
Lungs. Ew! That's what he breathed with. I say he. I don't know if it was a he or a girl or her. her. That's the liver. Pan, uh, liver. Liver. Yeah, that was the heart. I think that was the heart. The first thing or he pulled out. Is that the heart? Uh, don't know. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. <laughs> Ew! Ew! <laughs> What's in there? Anything else? What else? Ooh. Ew! Hey, what's wrong with the turkey? Hey, okay, look. It needs a doctor. Smell. Smell. Ew! You gonna Eat help it. Daddy make the turkey? You help me make turkey? Can't make turkey? No bugs. No bugs. No bugs. Oh, look, 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 look. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Look. It's his neck. <laughs> Ooh, you want to see what's in the bag? Yeah. Let's see what's in the bag. <laughs> Thank you very much. So those are some cute little videos that I just wanted to show you about how we involve our kids for Thanksgiving. Obviously, you saw Katie most in most of those mostly videos. Mostly Katie, mostly. <laughs> we, Andy's terrified of the bird. Andy is terrified because of birds. Because when they see your father reaching in some bird's ass and pulling his guts out, it is Andy, little, Andy runs and hides. It is a little bit terrifying. It's a little terrifying. <laughs> but Katie, on the other hand, will see me doing that and then go into her room and get Spot or one of her bears and will do a, what, medical malpractice on them? Yes. Cuts she, them open and thinks, oh, we could stuff him too and rips his guts out. And instead of guts, it's fur and varmint and hair all over the place yeah she'll she'll make believe that she's actually cooking one of her uh, stuffed animals yeah so they always instead. suffer the consequences of thanksgiving <laughs> but that she she enjoys it she does a lot of pretend play with that and so i think you know she she really enjoys that part that aspect of thanksgiving yes so um now as far as like eating for Thanksgiving, we just, you know, put a little bit on each of the kids' plates and... Mac and cheese, Thanksgiving. We do some mac and cheese for Thanksgiving. <laughs> that's that's one of the things about, you know, when you have special needs kids, you, you just kind of, you do what you have to do to get them to eat. It's all innocent still. It, Christmas is still fun because they still believe in Santa. This is true. Thanksgiving is fun. They still believe in, you know, Thanksgiving, the whole, yeah. you know, uh, the bird is alive, uh, but the Halloween and... Easter, they still think the Easter Bunny comes to the house. I mean, it's just, it's fun with, especially these kids. Yes. That way it is. It's innocent. Yeah. And they do. still act like kids. They do still have a little bit of an, you know, a different kind of innocence that, you know, a typically developing child doesn't, or, or loses after, I think, a certain point. So, yeah. we, you know, we, we kind of enjoy that part, that aspect of it. But, um, anyway, uh, one of the things that I think is fun about, you know, Thanksgiving, I, I do miss, I think, and, and I think one of the things that I miss about Thanksgiving is having a lot of people around. We yeah, don't. Yeah, that's interesting to have people around with these guys. We don't, we don't have people over. Yeah, it's always hard. Like, we've had people over before, but usually we have to be very strategic in the people Either that we have Either they have to have understand over. them yes. very well and their immediate family, but even immediate family doesn't like them. But they have to be immediate family that can deal with them, like our her cousin uh, who was up in Denver came over last year for Thanksgiving, and that yes. was fun. We had fun with them. They, yeah, we had a really good time with them. Kids. And we were thinking about having them over again this year, but we've moved and well, might, we haven't moved yet. might be moving next we week. We haven't moved yet, and that's another thing. <laughs> We're moving. not even gonna. We're not even gonna go in oh, there. Oh, we're not gonna go there. Huh? <laughs> we're not gonna Good. go there in this Thanksgiving's video. Thanksgiving coming. Are we moving? We'll talk, we'll talk about that in the moving? next video. Box, Hopefully, moving. we'll talk about that in the next video. Oh, please, please, it's a, <laughs> it's a nightmare come true. Anyway, <laughs> we'll go there in the next video. Moving with the special needs child. <laughs> oh, that would be a fun one. <laughs> anyway, um, during Thanksgiving, getting getting off track. But yeah, but we did have tracks. we did have yeah I know the sidetrack we were sidetracked, um, but yes we did have our um, my cousin over with his um, husband and his and their roommate, 
um, came over for Thanksgiving and um, that was really fun. And so we'll probably have them over again um, for another holiday as soon as we get settled into our new house, hopefully. Um, (laughs) 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 Okay, anyway, um, hopefully our new house soon. Anyway, um, but anyway, but I do miss having the large gatherings. Like I grew up in a very large family, yeah. very large family. Um, and Thanksgiving was a big, big deal. And we had too. a lot of cousins. I had a lot of cousins. Um, Dan had a lot of cousins. A lot of family in New York. And uh, both of us, you know, we grew up in that, you know, huge you know, Thanksgiving yeah, Christmas, gatherings Thanksgiving, and Christmas, Christmas Easter, reunions, every, anything and everything. We always were a big family. And I miss that, you know, I'm, I do miss that aspect. Um, and, you know, part of it is just not, not living close to them anymore. Um, but the other part of it, I think, is just we it's not fun to bring our kids to those kinds of functions because they just... Well, it's fun for us, but... <laughs> The others, it's run for the hills. The vacuums are coming. I, I don't think it's fun for other people. Um, I like to sit back and kind of watch it. It kind of amuses me yeah. a little bit because of, after 16 years of my own misery, why not, why not share it with the world? Why not let other people share it? <laughs> we'll just sit back and drink wine. Yeah. Scotch. <laughs> so, so here's your tip for the day. Drink lots of wine. Lots of scotch. There you go. Local and, liquor store. Um, you know... Try to involve the kids with a little bit of cooking because sometimes they will eat it if they are involved. There are, but I mean, I have Katie, especially when I I started cooking a lot of Italian food during the summer, a couple of years back. During the pandemic. During the yeah. pandemic, and that girl ate every. She eats garlic, onions. She'll get up on the counter with you. She'll, she'll, I mean, taste everything. Raw meat. She's a, she's a real Italian. She eats yeah. raw meat, old school. Old school. She Cuts the, I mean, you give her garlic, Tasting everything. she eats the onion, garlic, squash, lettuce, tomatoes, anything I cut up, she's putting in her mouth. So it's a lot of fun cooking with her. And I've got a lot of good uh, pictures and memories with her, cooking with her. Yeah. Andy's more of the dancer, but Katie's more of my cook. Yeah. She's mechanical. She cooks. She's always, if I do something in the kitchen, she is always right there with me. Knives and, and all. Andy so. does. Andy does have a curiosity about but wanting to cook, not, but he's not. At, he doesn't have the attention span for it. Right. He, he comes in. He wants to cut a couple of things, and then he's done. He's done. He wants to go. Um, he wants. To he wants it. to go play on his iPad, or he wants to go. But uh, Katie will drop you know, everything, and in, come, including the medical malpractices on her stuffed animals, yes. cutting them open and ripping them open to come cook with me. Or if I'm doing any anything, it doesn't even have to be Thanksgiving. Anything. Yeah. Always, any kind of cooking. She's a tomboy at heart. But she. And she. But she is a. She's a daddy's girl, and daddy's the one who does the cooking. She's a daddy's girl, but she's so. twelve, and she's going through that. Never mind. It's another yeah. for another subject. But that's o- another o- video. O- <laughs> that's yeah, another video. Her, yeah, she's great. Yeah. But anyway, I'm gonna leave you to talk you about the rest talk of it. Talk about your ass. It was nice seeing everybody, and we'll uh, wish us luck on our house. I've got a bottle of scotch. Oh, call it for me. So your tips for Thanksgiving are go ahead and involve your kids, try to get them involved in cooking, um, you know, get them um, occupied with some extracurricular activities, I guess, if they are not involved in the cooking. Um, And I'm gonna link some sources below that I have found. Um, For those of you who have some crafty kids um, or kids who are interested in arts and crafts who might wanna want to do something like that while you're cooking in the kitchen um those are some things my kids aren't that interested in that kind of stuff but if you have a kid who um, likes to do that you can um, look at some of those links and those resources um i hope that you have a great thanksgiving i hope that you have lots of friends and family who can um, support you and your kids during this time and that you can get involved with your kids and um, hopefully they will eat a little bit of turkey or chicken or uh, pumpkin pie or pecan pie if you're from the south (laughs) not pecan pie but pecan pie but um uh, or apple pie or whatever it is that you uh is your favorite dish um i hope that you have a great thanksgiving and that you can enjoy it 
even if you are just enjoying it with your friends and family through Zoom or Facebook or FaceTime or whatever it is that you um, have to do in order to reach out to your friends and family. But I hope you do have some support and that you have a great Thanksgiving and some great holidays. And I hope to see you in my next video and y'all have a great day. Bye.